Uh, I was on uh, Fox last night. How many of you saw Charles Krauthammer and uh, yours truly on the panel? We're going to play parts of that. Got a lot of play. I didn't hear from my posse about that uh, back and forth with Krauthammer. I usually hear from Drew. I got nothing from Drew. What were you, Dad, a Pilates class? What were you doing? Drew was doing stretches. My calves are tight. So Drew wasn't... Uh, Taylor gave me nothing. James is... I don't know. James is at Shoney's. Not sure what James was doing. And uh, Alexis, I don't know what was Alexis. Oh, I know. Oh, actually, I can't. I can't criticize Alexis. <laughs> she was helping me. But I was. I was with Crowdhammer, and he pulled this all this high and mighty stuff with me last night. I just. I just. I'm not in the mood for that. I gotta take that from old Crowdhammer. I mean, he he does the side swipes on me a lot, though, Drewy. Do you notice that? Like he's always there is nothing I say that Crowdhammer won't take a side swipe at. Nothing. Like I could I could literally say I could say Donald Trump is a complete fool. Da, 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 right. da, and oh, he would could, say, I can't believe that some people are so only saying that Donald Trump is a fool. You could give the most sober analysis of oh, Kurt no, no. He has that little sparkle in his nasty, eye. Like right when you start speaking, it's nasty, just. <laughs> nasty toward me. And you know something? I'm at the age where I'm just calling it out. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to sit next to someone who looks down at me because he thinks because he has a doctor at the beginning right. of his name that he's smarter than everybody else. Okay? He can read people's hearts now. I'm done with it. Right. I'm done with it. You rub him the wrong way because you speak the truth. Well, I rub him the wrong want. way because guess what? In 2016, I was right and he yes, was wrong. Exactly. He, For two he, years straight. He, he did not call the election right and he's still smarting from that. So now he wants to be, see, see doctor, I told you so. Right. <laughs> you know, he's doctor, I told you so now. And I'm just not having any of that. You know, so look... I, and when he makes a great point, guess what? I say he makes a great point. When he do. when he is 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 I think giving a perspective that is uh, that is both informative and persuasive, I'm the first one to say, "Good on you. Awesome point. Great analysis." But it's like it never goes two way. I'm just not dealing with that anymore. I, you know, I'm at that age where I just like, you know something? Bring it. Bring it, my friend. Bring it on. How many of you saw this panel discussion? It made a lot of waves, though. Oh, oh, oh no! Yeah. It's all over. Real clear politics. Oh, no, no. Watched Examiner. And Everyone's way, got and it. And by the way, I, I didn't. Qu I didn't like like Fo Fox News. The, the way they did their FoxNews.com made it look like I, I I was wrong and he was right. Like, uh, no. Uh, what part of no, no, no? I didn't like that little frame they did on that. Yeah, Life Set did a great piece. I didn't even tell him to do well, it. Everyone either. loves Crowdhammer, you know. No, He's no, the no, beloved no. Oh, media yeah, no, I mean, but, but I was getting. Listen, to this. I was getting texts. I'm really building it up now, so it better be as good as I think it was. I was getting texts from Rome. Okay, ready for this? People were watching in Rome at the Vatican. No joke. Uh, people were watching. I got I got texts from Rome, Australia. A friend of mine is down in New Zealand. I got a text from uh, Toronto. I got texts from uh, Montana, Minneapolis. Just friends of mine who are all over the place. Like, wow, it has great international smack appeal. Smack down. Oh, it's like, thank God someone put him in his place. Uh, people are sick of him, too. I'm sorry. You, you, when you're as nasty about Trump as he's been forever, uh, people are just sick of it. Okay, we know you don't like Trump. We get it. You don't like Trump. You wish he wasn't president. You think he's a racist. Okay. Now sell that to the American people in 2020. I think people have put... Here's, here's what I think is possible. It's possible to say Donald Trump could have handled things better. And I think like yesterday he missed an opportunity. I know every, everyone's out there saying Trump hit back. Trump did, did, did. My goal is a long term goal. I want him and his agenda su to succeed. I don't think yesterday is going to make it more likely that his agenda succeeds. Tax reform, infrastructure, all the things he's doing. Now, do I think it's the end of the world? No, I don't. Would I have handled it differently? Yes, I would have. Donald Trump is not going to do it the way we want him to do it. He is his own man. And when he feels like he's being maligned, he's going to smash back. He's just not, the press wants him to prostrate himself, say, oh, I should have said it this way. And you're right. I'm not this. I'm not a, a you know, I don't believe in the cake. You know, they want him to say all this stuff. He's not going to do that. Never, ever, ever. Because he's, he in his mind thinks it's wildly unfair. And he thinks they're doing a disservice to America. And he's not going to apologize for what he believes is calling out the extremism on both sides. He's not going to do that. Now, I know everybody wants him to do that. He's never going to do that. So the, what Republicans have to decide is, this is your guy. This is the president of the United States. 
if you want to spend the next three years trashing him on television and undermining him and telling people you have to distance, then you can go ahead and do that. And I guess we'll see how that all turns out. My suggestion is keep advancing the ideas that actually make the lives of Baltimoreans and uh, uh, Los Angelinos and Chicagoans and Detroit folks better. Keep preaching the good news of conservatism. If you want to, you know, analyze what Trump is doing, that's fine. But remember, the left is not about the solutions. They're not about solutions. When, when Trump was asked yesterday, you know, what do you think is, how, 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 is your, how is your deal going to make any of this better? And he said jobs. You know what's going to heal race relations in this country? Jobs. He's exactly right. The left does not have an answer on jobs. They had an anemic recovery under Obama. They know it, and we know it. Donald Trump understands that getting manufacturing back in this country, holding China accountable, keeping manufacturing going and bringing more jobs into this country, keeping this border tight, rising wages. Who was talking about bringing wages up yesterday at the end of that press conference? Donald Trump was. And can those reporters give a rat's you-know-what about wages in this country? They don't. Because their jobs are never going to be replaced by illegal immigrants. They don't care. So, so drop your high and mighty nonsense that you're trying to peddle on TV 24-7 about how you, are, you have the moral high ground. The left has presided over decay and destruction and despondency in the inner city for a half of a century. And Donald Trump's your problem? 855 40